All right, the first demonstration I showed you was um, how to use fractions in relationship to your grid to get your uh, proper proportion. Uh, this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use both positive and negative space to do the same thing. Um, and you're going to be using all these demonstrate or all these techniques uh, together whenever you're drawing your image. But I'm just going to break them down one at a time. So first of all, positive and negative space. You might want to have a good idea of what those are before you start using this. Positive space is the area in your image that is the subject matter. So for example, this bow right here would be positive space. Um, her hand, her face, her hair, all of this stuff right here. The background would be considered the negative space or the space that's not the subject matter. So if I was going to come in here and start drawing the hand, which is pretty tough, it's pretty detailed, I'm going to show you how to use both the fraction technique and the use of positive and negative space to draw this accurately. So um, to get started, I'm going to start up here by the chin and just make sure I start in the right spot for this hand. So I'm going to go down one square. So I'm going to start right here and then right to the left of this intersection here, I have the first knuckle of the hand. So like I did before, I'm going to use fractions. It's about a little more than three quarters of the way over. So I'm starting by the chin, going down one. I'm working about right here. All right. And right now I'm taking a look at the negative space of this area. So this part of the grid here and this part of her hand make a little triangle here. So I want to match this triangle. This little triangle is actually negative space where this part of the hand is a positive space. So I like to look at the smaller areas. And if you actually uh, pay attention to both positive space and negative space, you'd be amazed at how successful you could be at drawing an image. Most artists your age at the middle school level only pay attention to the positive space and they don't really um, take a close look at the other smaller shapes left behind. So as I'm drawing this right now, I'm trying to match this shape, this little triangle right here. Let me draw that a little bit darker so you can see it. Should match this triangle right here. In fact, I just noticed I drew it a little bit too high. So this line should actually come to about right there, a little bit lower than what I originally had it. All right, I'm going to start uh, drawing this finger coming up. And right now I'm paying attention to the positive space because I'm looking at this finger and the line in which um, it's created with the flow of it. I notice it's going to intersect up here um, a little bit more than a halfway up in between a half and a quarter. So it's about half, it's about a quarter, so it should be coming up to about right here. As I can see it kind of curves down, bends inward, then back out like so. And now I'm going to take a look at the negative space down here because the bottom of the finger leaves a small triangle. And this small triangle right here is negative space because I'm looking at the hand as being the positive space. So I'm just going to come in here and try to imitate that small triangle like so. And there will be a shadow in here that will help me out later on. But I think that is where the bottom of that finger lies. And then the this part of the finger, this actually intersects about a quarter of the way up, maybe a little bit higher. So it should be up here a little bit more. And there's a little bit of pressure applied to the finger here because of the bow. So it puts a little dent in the finger, but this line comes straight over. And now once again, I'm looking at negative space. This shape right here, what does this shape look like? Well, this, this part of the finger here intersects just about halfway through. So about halfway through right here is where that finger is going to go. Once again, I'm using that fraction technique. And now I'm, I'm not looking at the finger. Most artists would actually look at the finger to draw this part. I'm looking at the shape that the finger makes with the negative space. That's what I'm paying attention to. I think that's easier than, than trying to focus on just the finger. So right now I'm focusing on that shape right here and how that relates to my drawing. I notice that the finger comes really close to this intersection over here, but not all the way to it. There's a little space left. And now I'm going to focus on positive space. This little the point of the finger here, this, this tip of the finger, this makes a unique shape with the grid. Alright, so now I'm focusing on that because that is the subject matter, that's the positive space. And I know that it comes down to about here. And then as I bring it up past this line into this next square, it comes at a slight angle over. 
and it's kind of tough to see as part of the finger because it's a highlight and it blends right into the white part of the background there. Uh, but I'm going to assume this line kind of comes down here and meets with the knuckle like that. And I know it looks kind of like a wavy, wobbly finger right now, but once I start adding the shadows and detail into it, um, it'll look much better. So then coming down to the other fingers, down here, once again I'm looking at negative space. Alright, this little shape right here that is created within the grid. I'm going to try to duplicate that. Alright, I know this finger comes about... It's about an eighth of an inch down. Um, this. There's a little shadow that's, that goes about halfway through. So the shadow comes in here. This line carries down this way. The uh, bottom of this finger intersects about halfway through. So this will be the bottom of the finger. Once again, I'm going to use positive space. I'm going to jump down to this third finger down here. And I notice this little triangle this, this uh, finger makes. And just kind of intersects with the other finger. And now I'm looking at the negative space right here, what this little dark shape looks like. I think it looks kind of like this. It gets thinner as we come down. And then I'm just going to continue with this negative space shape right here like this. So right now I'm just focused right here in this dark shape right here. That's what I think that shape looks like. And as I can see this ends, it's about halfway, it's about the middle of that shape. It's about the middle, so it should be a little bit lower and to the right. So I think I'm pretty close right there. Most artists would only focus on the shape of the finger, and they would ignore this shape right here. If you start to pay attention to both, your drawings will become more successful. So this finger carries on up this way, and finish it like that. And if you notice the thumb coming out, um, I'm going to look at the negative space here between the, this part of the grid and the thumb. It starts about right here, the thumb curves around, almost touches this line, but doesn't quite touch it, and curves around to about right above this knuckle. Right there like that. And then I'll just draw in that part of the bow. This part of the bow curves down. And there's a little detail of the bow right there like that. All right, I'm gonna continue with my fingers coming down this way. Once again, paying attention to fractions and negative and positive space. Uh, this is about the middle of this shape. So, and this is about the middle. So that finger ends a little bit above that. And to the left. So the knuckle comes to here. This finger comes up with a slight bend. And then it ends about a quarter of the way in this way with a shadow. And now look at the negative space, that dark shadow in between the two fingers. And then finally, the last, last finger curves down. I'm looking at the negative space it creates with this dark part here. And this curves around like so. And then the palm. Palm, a little bit less than halfway where the shadow starts. Goes a little bit down past this part of the grid. Negative space shows me that just the tiniest little triangle is left in that square. And at the palm curves around, or the top of the hand curves around like this, and then eventually meets up at that at that knuckle where the uh, bow simply comes down like that. Now, right now, that doesn't look like much because it's just a contour line of the hand. Once I start adding shadows and detail into this hand, it will look a lot more realistic and it will look a lot more like that photograph right here. But just remember to not only use fractions within your grid, but to also pay attention to both positive space and negative space as you are drawing.